Hey, good afternoon, church family. It's good to see you today. We're glad that you're here. It's Thursday, and let's pray together as we seek the Lord. Uh, may God teach us and encourage us today uh, in His Word. Father in heaven, we love you, and we thank you for the day you've given to us. And Father, our prayer today is that you would help us to, to know and understand and apply the Word of God. And so, Lord, teach us some truth here today. Uh, give us help, we ask. And uh, Lord, that you would please send revival to our hearts. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad you're here. Let's take our Bibles and open together to Exodus chapter number 18. Exodus chapter 18, we find here that Moses is seeking to judge the people. And the people come to him in the morning, and they're there from morning until evening, and he's hearing their causes, and he is discerning uh, judgment uh, to them. And uh, we find that that his father-in-law, Jethro, comes to, uh, uh, to, to see him. And uh, as he's watching this, he, he's, he's recognizing uh, the error of Moses. Now Moses, he was a great man, no doubt about it, uh, but he was attempting to do things that were not healthy for him. And uh, as a matter of fact, um, Jethro, he, he comes and he gives him some advice. He says, hearken now unto my voice. Look in verse number 19 of chapter 18. He says, I will give thee counsel, and God shall be with thee. Behold, uh, I'm sorry, be thou uh, for the people to Godward, that thou mayest bring the cause unto God. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws, and shalt show them uh, the way wherein they must walk, and the work uh, that they must do. Moreover, look in verse 21, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds and rulers of fifties and rulers of tens and let them judge the people at all seasons and so he says listen what you're doing is it's not healthy it's not good uh there's other people there that can step in and help and so uh god allowed him to to discern who these people would be and he went and he set them up he set up what he said rulers uh of thousands and rulers of hundreds and rulers of fifties and rulers of tens, uh, such as uh, they would, uh, such as their ability was, and uh, the Bible says, and um, in verse number twenty-two it says, and let them judge the people at all seasons, and it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto thee, but every small matter they shall judge. And if you mark this statement in your Bibles, it says. So shall it be easier for thyself, and they shall bear the burden with thee. Would you mark this statement? They shall bear the burden with thee. And Christians, it's time that we bear the burden with one another. And the Bible says, bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Um, the, the, the truth of the matter is, none of us, uh, not one person should be doing everything in God's work. Uh, we should all be working together uh, to accomplish a common goal. And so we, we think of, of local church, for instance, and we boil that down on a most practical level. Uh, the church is a, um, is, a say, uh, is, is a local assembly of baptized believers who have joined themselves together to carry out the Great Commission. And within that local church, there are many different responsibilities, many different jobs that, that are done in an effort to, to cause the, the gospel message and uh, the Great Commission to be fulfilled. And so we look and uh, we must take, a, take account of what, uh, what, of what God uh, is doing and what we are able to do. And we think of the pastor or the deacons or the Sunday school teachers or nursery workers or uh, we could boil it all the way down and we must work to, uh, to work together. That's, that's the goal. We must bear the burden uh, and uh, with others. Uh, Christian, are you bearing the burden? Are you helping bear the burden? Um, if you're not, I encourage you to find your place in your local church and bear the burden with your pastor, with the deacons of the church, with the Sunday school teachers, with the different workers, because the work of the Lord is too great for any for just one person to do. And it's it's a work. Uh, the Bible describes it this way in the book of Philippians, chapter one and verse twenty-seven. We are to be striving together for the faith of the gospel, not not apart, not alone, but together. And so I want to encourage you today uh, to prayerfully seek the Lord and find a place in your church where you can bear the burden 
with others. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the day you've given to us. And Lord, our prayer is that you would help us bear the burden together, not alone. Uh, Father, we pray that you would work in our hearts in such a matter where, uh, such a manner where we will uh, willingly uh, see what we can do uh, to be a blessing and be a help to our local church. And Father, that you would allow us to strive together and that many more things, much more, can be accomplished this way uh, than ever uh, alone. And so, God, guide us by your grace today. Give us strength. Give us help. And, Lord, again, we do ask that you would send revival. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, thank you for joining with us today. As always, it's an honor to have you. Uh, please know we love you. We're praying for you. And we hope to see you right back here tomorrow at noon. And uh, But in the meanwhile, we do have church service tonight, 7 o'clock. I hope you find your place uh, right here with us. We also have our Master Club, which begins tonight at 645. And so be praying about all of these things. And Lord willing, we'll see you very soon. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.